Hey guys, been with Red Dirt Chilies. I want to do this one outside today. I <clears throat> thought the lighting might help a little bit, but I was picking this big old thing of uh, seven primo yellows for, um, this is like a traditional looking one, for uh, my high uh, dehumidifier. So I can like, you know, have powder. And I found a peach fino. It's kind of hard to tell the difference. I don't know if this yellow shirt was probably a bad choice, but. You can see there, it's just a little bit different coloring. It's trying to get to that yellow, but they all kind of have this body too, where it's, this is like the traditional body. Obviously this is like the off, you know, and its body is a little different. It's not as bumpy. It's more peach. <clears throat> more peach than yellow. These are kind of golden. So I would thought I'd give it a try and see if it was uh, different at all. I'm assuming it's gonna be less hot, so let's see how it is. I'm all here. <coughs> the inside. Not very good. It's definitely a seven pot primo, I can tell. <clears throat> Even worse flavor than a seven pot primo though. The yellow seven pot primo. A lot of these um, <clears throat> off finos I've had are <clears throat> not really very good flavor. None of my, not very many of my peppers in general are happy good flavor though. Oh, that tasted not very good. Wow. Just bittery, planty. Here's a couple more. <clears throat> I mean, the big reason why I'm doing the uh, seven pot yellow, primo yellow is um, in the dehumidifier. Just, um, I just need to make them into powder so they're just spicy, you know? Like, <clears throat> they tasted really good last year from a different garden that I got them from, but I just haven't quite really figured out my gardening technique well enough to get properly flavored peppers, I guess. Definitely could be the disease, a ton of disease in my garden, so could be that messing up the flavor for sure. <coughs> Guards behind me, obviously. <coughs> I would say a little less, <coughs> a little less heat than the, the yellow. Pretty similar though, you know, tongue burn, middle of the tongue, front of the tongue, mostly middle, bright, you know, bright burn, bright, <coughs> Um, stingy almost, but maybe a little crisp. <clears throat> Sweating a little bit. I'm um, in the sun too. It's like 90 degrees. It's probably only, it's probably like 80, 85. It's gonna be 90, 95 today though. So pretty hot, or especially for the fall. <clears throat> pretty good endorphin profile though. Pretty good endorphins. I will say that. You know, my dad was tell telling me that uh, we're Indian, and uh, he went to some conference in maybe Hawaii or South America, or Central America, South America. I don't remember where, where but <clears throat> it might have been here in Oklahoma. I can't remember, but anyway, one of the native guys, before he went up to speak, gave him like a, it was like beef jerky, but with peppers. I think with the base, I don't think there's any meat. It's just, you know, <coughs> pepper paste that's dried into like a, like a beef jerky. And, uh, so like, you know, gave him some for, I can't remember why, maybe it's like ankle hurt or something, I don't remember, but. So he ate some of it, <coughs> went up there, he got lit up, you know? And I mean, he didn't conceptualize it this way, but 
he was saying how it, uh, you know, the endorphins hit him. And um, I definitely, my long-winded point of saying that some peppers do have a better endorphin profile. I will definitely say that. I'm not really sure which ones. I'd have to eat them all over again and try to rank them specifically for endorphins, which would be fairly difficult because they're all somewhat close. Some do have noticeably not great endorphins, though. I'd have to kind of go back and look at my videos, but some, you know, lacking endorphins is honestly enough for I, I would be a not no grow for me. But that was actually like a, you know, that was a good endorphin profile, especially for how it wasn't really that hot. I mean, I'd say right at a million, maybe even less, maybe 800,000, 1.2. So, you know, it really had no business having that good of an endorphin profile. Um, flavor is god I mean it's borderline god awful it's not very good but I might even I might even grow it again just for the endorphins though like I need to like probably separate my garden into different like sections you know flavor endorphins aesthetics I'm really just hoping I can get rid of the disease that pepper leaf spot it's a nightmare nightmare fuel man like not having the ability to save your genetics is just horrible i mean i've got some grown over here those little ones but you know to make sure like, my hydroponic it's like you know it's probably four feet five feet tall maybe 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 four feet and uh it's you know it just started showing leaf spot like after months i start growing it in, like the beginning of the season it's enormous it's starting to produce peppers it's, so like I mean, maybe it was on the walls, you know, I'm not really sure, but having serious disease in your garden or your body is uh, no fun. See, I'm coming down now for sure, the heat. Um, I'd have to give this one one thumbs up. The endorphins were so good, like pretty, pretty impressive, frankly. Um, you know, not as hot as the, uh, the correct pheno, I guess, but still pretty good. Pretty good heat. Pretty close. I mean, yeah, I'd say like 200, 300,000 less, but it's still ballpark. Um, <clears throat> yeah, flavor's bad. The, the aesthetic, I, I think it looks okay. You know, I think it looks, you know, it looks like a goat to me. I like the goat look, but I do not like the goat heat level. The heat level is not good at all in my opinion so for someone like you know who's going to grow super hot if you're you know if you're grow whatever you want understand for someone who's probably watching this video <clears throat> i would say the goat is just like avoid that it's not a good heat pepper it's crunchy watery tastes okay but looks amazing but yeah heat is not there at all but this it looks like a goat which would be kind of cool if you could kind of you know replace that um not like completely but a little bit if you could replace it in your garden is if you wanted that if you wanted that look I, I would think that this off you know I might try to grow it I probably will um, you know I'll try to start it right now and then I'll see if it has leaf spot probably does um, but yeah uh, one thumb up bad taste decent look good endorphins pretty decent grower the plant itself I would show you is kind of my garden, you know, next year I think I'm going to do like three feet by three feet instead of two feet by three feet because it's so hard to get. I have to crawl through my garden to like rip these off, you know. But it grows pretty well um, as a plant. So I guess that's about everything. It's getting close to 10 minutes. I think I'll call it a day, call it a video. Um, like I said, I got a red lava left and that's about it. Um, probably do a second impressions on the T-Rex. Uh, chocolate. See if we can get a little better flavor profile out of it. See how that goes. And that's about everything. All right. You guys have a good rest of your uh, week or weekend or wherever, whenever you watch this video. So you guys take care and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.